see if we got a good connection good morning welcome to the stream if you're there I'm gonna try to get in the chat here and we can talk let's see here try to find a chat see if we get any notification notification it's raining here in Florida so might not have a good notification might not have a good stream we're gonna give it a shot anyway so okay let's see here so, all right let me turn down the volume it's very early so I really didn't expect a good turnout What's up, Brandon? What's up, buddy? How you doing today? I'm gonna put my um. Let me see if I could get my mouse right here. How you doing this morning, man? It's early. I know that. I'm trying to um. Get some. Let me put this over here out of the way. I'm trying to knock out this gun for Jacob. Um, he sent me his ARP9. Oh, let me show you my custom boxes. What's up, Catsman? Good morning. Show you my custom boxes I've been doing. This is going to be the frames. Um, I have to paint them black. It's a really good paint though. And um, as you'll see, the custom boxes will have 09, which is the month, the year, my name, and this is 01. This would be the first build of this series. And this box, this is a VFC box same thing you see it's really slick it's hard to tell but it's a really really good paint so that will be it oh yeah bachelor party huh that's cool how's the sound does everything sound good look good it's raining here in Florida so I don't know how it's gonna turn out but I'm gonna try to knock this out and um, hopefully Jacob will jump on here in a minute and wake up Okay, cool. Thank you, Brandon. So, if not, Jake can go back and watch it. I know he will. This is his. He sent me this. What's up there, little buddy? Old Vosberg jumped in there. Snuck on in there on me. Happy birthday, Eric Vosberg. 30 years old. I remember when I was 30. It's been a little while. So, this is what I got. I'm just going to take my time and chat with you guys. 39! Brandon. Brandon said he went to a bachelor party last night, Vossberg. So y'all both had a crazy night. I worked yesterday and uh, had a pretty good day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 40, y'all. So you're 32, Brandon. What is up, Matt? 35-year-old. Man, see, I'm glad I ain't the only old one, honey. There's some older old ones on here. You hear me, babe? What? I said I ain't the only old one on here. There's some old ones on here. Uh, Brandon's 32. Matt's 35. Vosberg turned 30. All right, so I'm going to break this out. Y'all see the gate tighten advance here. I'm going to put it up here on my laser engraver. Y'all see me playing with that. I'm going to give you a little peek of it right here. There's a laser engraver sitting over here. I've been messing around with. Let me get y'all set back up. I've got my glasses here because um, it will definitely, the reflection will make your eyes get all crazy. Alright, so hopefully Jacob joins us soon. I'm going to try to kind of just chat with you guys until he joins us. 35. Well, oh, five off of me. You going to play anytime soon, Matt? Um, Josh Stewart, Josh Clifford, and um, Shane Sko came up yesterday, and their wives and, and girlfriends, um, they came up to visit. They played all day long in the arena. They, they, they drove. They had a, a rear end go out in their truck. It broke down. They had it towed and got a rental car and still came and played all day. Um, they actually, um, 
brought me a Josh Clifford actually brought me a um, a hater I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with it yet I'm gonna definitely give it away I don't know how or who or what and uh, he's got another one that's coming too there's that pretty pretty ARP 9 let me find the hater real fast here it is hater I don't know what do you guys think maybe give it a paint job give it some laser engraving send it away the amber ranger that's it this is the amber color I love it um, Matt and all you Jacksonville boys or anyone close to Jacksonville this weekend coming up um, is battalion um, I don't know if y'all can see my shirt right now I actually work for battalion now um, I'll be doing lots of um, videos on guns I did a SSG yesterday a upgrade kit with the um, tracer excuse me the color kit um, I'm editing right now I'm gonna upload it later and I'm gonna be doing giveaways with him with with mr. Webster next weekend is their anniversary I'm gonna show y'all what we'll be giving away next weekend amongst other things um, where's it at where's it at I actually think it's on my iPad I'm gonna show y'all real fast if I'm a pictures and there it is okay next weekend this is gonna be given away this is the lemon or yellow ARP 9 it's gonna have the matching flash hider so y'all come check him out come to battalion airsoft and tell him I sent you that you seen it on YouTube and if you need to order anything call him up and he'll send you whatever you need but yeah the ARP9 is nice, y'all. Checking my lag. Alright, not bad. So it looks like we're going to do alright. So, first off, I'm going to go ahead and get the... Start taking the gun down. And... Y'all know I use golf tee for the front. Yeah, that's smart, Vossberg. Just take a little break, man. Don't buy nothing for a little bit. It ain't gonna hurt to uh, take a break from buying. I, I understand totally, man. I'm the same right now. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that back in there. Put it down here. Make some room. I'm gonna go ahead and lay the hater right there. Just Well, we'll get it out of the way for now. I'm going to lay my phone right here. Yeah. I can't wait. I got a T6 coming, everyone, from Vossberg. And I can't wait. It's a T6 Ronin. It's on the way right now. I can't wait. It's got a gate in it, of course. Um, it should be here sometime this week. Alrighty then. So I'm going to get a flashlight. I never even plugged in my headlight, babe. That's funny. It's okay, though. So first, we're going to go ahead and get his buffer tube off. So other than the partying last night, is everyone doing all right? Me and my wife, we had a good night. We got to hang out without any kids. Well, we had my oldest, but he's quiet. He plays video games all night, so. We got to watch movies. We had a little movie night and got to hang out, so. It's important, man. What? Matt said he was working a double, huh? Out, out there at the uh, beach. Was it called Tavern on the Green or something? He works at a... Uh, Hey Grant, if you're just jumping in, I'm putting a Geek Titan in an ARP-9. It's the uh, amber one for a friend of mine, and hopefully he will join soon. Jake, I've messaged him. He must have had a uh, birthday party too last night. 
Ah, this one ain't even counting yet. There we go. Tavern on the first. <laughs> Not the green. I said tavern on the green. Hopefully Jake will wake up soon. I sent him a message, so I'm going to keep messaging him here in a few. I called him and it didn't go through, so I'm assuming his phone may be dead. Hey, man, thanks, Grant, uh, for jumping in the, the amount of time you did, buddy. You know it always helps. 188 more hours to go. Boom. Giveaway's happening. It will not be long. I'm going to say by next weekend. So, thank you all for the watch time that y'all have put in and watching the videos. And I think it's going to happen by next week. And good luck. And um, I got a parts list coming from Full Auto Airsoft for the custom build. So right now we're kind of at a stuck point until he sends me the internals. I have the gearbox right here. Well, I appreciate that, Matt. Um, they do. They do help. It's that watch hour. Um, you know, you sit there and do these videos and the live streams are like huge amounts of watch time. Yeah, and I got your uh, M4 back here. And I actually have a motor. I need a piston now is all I need. Yeah, y'all all have watched a lot. I watch. I look at my analytics a lot. I appreciate every last one of you guys watching these things. Y'all are all, every single one of you guys, you regulars, man, y'all are awesome. I know it's super early in the morning. I honestly didn't expect a big stream. Let me get this bad boy loose I'm trying to do it by hand let me get a screwdriver on it oh I need to text my buddy uh, Kevin he's been wanting to watch Kevin Thomas from up in uh, Virginia he's sending me a gun also to go through an ARP9 let me send him a message real fast Let's see. There we go. All right, I sent him a message. Make sure my comments ain't behind. Yeah, GoPro footage is tricky to um, edit. It's you got to download the GoPro app, and it can get a little bit tricky. But I'm thinking you'll get it. What is up, Shane? Slaughterhouse. Did you have a good time yesterday? I haven't seen any striker upgrades yet. Um, I'm sure that they have them there. Uh, but, you know, I'll be checking into that. Hey, honey. My beautiful wife is walking by. She's working on her nails. But you know I'll be checking into the striker upgrades because I'm ready to build me a striker. So this part right here is where you knock out the pin. And a lot of times this can get confusing because G and G does do things opposite sometimes. What you look for is you see the pin sticking out a little further on the right hand side. It's because there's splines in the pin right there. The splines got to be pushed out. That's what holds the pin still and holds the pin from turning. That is what centers the whole gearbox. Yeah, I know, man. I could tell you had a blast, bro. Um, Shane was up yesterday with Josh Stewart and um, Josh Clifford and um, Josh's wife, Madonna. And I'm not sure who the other um, everybody else was. But they all come up from South Florida. They met from different areas. And they come up and they had a blast. They played a battalion all day. I know they had fun because they were sweating their behinds off. And I can tell you right now, they were balling. Them boys are covered in BB shots today. But yeah, man, it was awesome. And I got GoPro footage. I let one of them run a GoPro. And I haven't had time to finish editing, but that'll be up soon. So yeah, man. 
I gotta get this pin knocked out. Look at this beauty. So, um, Shane, what I'm doing here, I think I told you yesterday, is I'm putting a uh, Titan, gate Titan in this bad boy. And I don't know if y'all notice, I got a new little setup here. I kind of trying to go snap on with everything. Um, I see a snap on guy every Tuesday. So I've been adding tools. I got this cool guy right here for my collection. This is for dremeling inside the boxes. Just flip it on and it has speed adjustments. And then I could change this out just by pushing this button. I could change this bit to fit dremels and also have cutoff wheels for it. So yeah, that's my uh, one of my new collections to make our stream better and our tech stuff better. I also got this light here. It's really bright, it's snap-on also, and it uses the same battery as that tool. Abandoned Republic, love it. So that's that. Now what I always use to get the pin out is a punch. Um, sometimes you don't even have to use a hammer, you can just kinda like that. Unfortunately, this one's tight, so I'm going to have to give it a little bit of a doink with a hammer. It's actually very tight. I don't think it's ever been out. But it's definitely moving. There she goes. Once it pops out, that's pretty much it. I usually can pull them out by hand. And now, that's everything to get the gearbox out of the ARP-9. So, we're gonna go ahead, slide out the MOSFET. There's the body, completely out. I'm gonna put it over here to the side. What's up, Red? Good morning, thank you for jumping in. Um, doing a Gate Titan in an ARP-9. And um, just kind of hanging out this morning. My wife's doing nails, so I'm going to um, hang out with you guys while she's doing nails. Welcome to the stream. So, where was I? Let's get this bad boy kicking. What I usually do, is y'all see me do these gears before, gearboxes, just take them and loosen them up. I'm actually going to get a power tool for this. Something a little bit quicker to get these screws out. Not for tightening, but for definitely loosening. This gearbox hasn't been into yet, so that's a good thing. Um, g and G puts a sticker right here to tell you if they've been in there, so it'll void the warranty. Um, at my new job, as y'all know, I uh, will be doing G&G &G warranty work, so it's no big deal. Battalion right here, this is my new job I work for. Go see Mr. Webster, tell him I sent you. Y'all are going to probably see a lot of that in my videos. John Hawkins. No, I still work at the shop during the week. Um, this is just a part-time job um, at the Airsoft Arena. Um, John, thank you for dropping in, big dog. But, yep, um, yesterday was my first day. It was a blast. Um, did a gate tighten, high cap of build, work on a lot of rental guns to try to keep them flowing. Um, remove flash hiders, install tracers, take brand new guns, get to build them, dress them up, go shoot them, play with them, whatever. It's awesome, man. I get to get to see all the new products before they even drop. Um, there's a new KWA gun that come out in two weeks. It'll be there. I'll be able to show it to y'all before anybody else gets to see it. Of course, you might see it on Demos channel because you know they're gonna send him everything first but hey we're growing and one day maybe we'll be that person that gets it before everyone else but you'll definitely get it before all the other smaller youtubers so y'all get to see it whenever I see it so right there what you do is you take out all the screws on this side then you flip the box then you're gonna take a I use a pick and you stick it in the spring guide in the back you hold that spring guide down and that's going to keep everything from blowing up on you. I know. I like Demo. He's cool, man. Um, it's just crazy how he gets everything first. And that's that's the perks, man, to being 
really big, and I'm and he's worked hard to get there. So I know the feeling, man. I like no one knows. I'm sure you know Shane because you got a YouTube channel. How much work goes into one YouTube video, and how much time you take from your family, and you know, I mean, it's a lot of work. But you know, it's the that's the what you're doing. That's what you're gonna do. So not complaining about anything just saying that's how it is so yeah I mean I, I I got respect for Demo he's definitely uh worked hard to get where he's at right now and he's played a lot of tournaments in a lot of places so congrats to him man that's awesome so that's one of the perks though you get that new stuff right when it drops he got the European model of the SSG1 <clears throat> I will have that trigger frame coming um Matter of fact, G and G overnighted a tracer for us. It came in yesterday. I put it on a few. Uh, once I get through editing, I'm gonna post that video later. You're gonna love it. I actually shoot it with tracers in it, and it rides. I shoot it over the chrono. Which flash hider is it, buddy? I'm understanding the importance of working on your channel. It's a lot of work, yes, sir. So, really quick. I am going to what I do at this point I'll go ahead and tell you all this is a little trick here if there's shims in here which G and G sometimes don't even use a lot of shimming so look there's not even a shim on this one and they got bushings in here that's what they use they last a long time what's up Black Widow Airsoft that's exactly right brother Black Widow Airsoft it is a lot of work uh, a lot of people don't see behind the scenes um, the time you take from your family and your friends and just like you know a 15 minute video can take you a long time to edit especially when you're dumb as I am when it comes to computers I am nothing I, I can't I'm, I'll have to learn it like every time I start doing it I get mad have to take a break and it's just I wish I would have studied computers in school honestly um let me find something to lay this on other than my brand new snap-on rag and I'm going to grab a couple Q-tips. Y'all hang tight. Alright. I had to grab some uh, paper towels and Q-tips. We're going to get a lot of this grease out of here. They kind of over greased it, it looks like. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Mm -hmm. Special delivery from my pretty wife. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to lay out this gear set. That's right. You have to like it. It's not going to pay your bills um, unless you have a job working in the industry. And it's not going to be really, really rewarding. It's just something that you like to do. That's exactly the same reason I do it. I love it. I love working on airsoft guns. I love talking to y'all. So, it all winds up good. So, let's get my small screwdriver. So, what we're going to do is take out the all the stock stuff here. basically we're not going to need it take out the trigger switch we're going to take off the cutoff lever yeah the transitions is really hard and seam cutting and trying to rejoin them to me is hard also I take a, I spend a lot of time um, trying to add dual cameras and it makes it kind of hard so yeah I mean there's so many different things you can do and the thing about this in YouTubing and any kind of live videos or videos your creativity is your best friend and you know there's so many different ways you can go about making a YouTube video it's just like where do you start you know what I mean it's like wow like how do I want to do this one you know what I mean so that's the thing about YouTube also is you know creative people have great YouTube channels I'm not really that creative I um, 
that's why I tend to do a lot of live videos because I just try to be myself and just have fun and as you can see I like doing this it's uh, it's a hobby to me and one day if it gets big then that'll be great if not then we'll just have a great hobby and we'll hang out man if you could do that that would be awesome man I uh all that right there goes bye bye I'm not really uh good enough at setting them up what part broke Grant um it's not replaceable is it like the body or something bud I seen your message just come through on the uh, channel. You want to get all this grease out of here for the Titan because the Titan can't have grease on its sensors. The optical sensors will um, show dirty while you're playing. It'll show a uh, code. So make sure you get all this grease out of here. Also, the stickers that have to go on, they can't be sticking to grease, so mainly this area here needs to be really clean. What's up, Bunker King? I like that. Bunker King. I remember there used to be a paintball company called Bunker King. They used to sell some pretty cool head wraps and stuff. What's up, Skido? Yeah, I know. You like that, don't you? It's pretty sweet. I got that from my buddy Josh Stewart. Which mask? The one uh, on here? Talking about the die mask that Bunker King has? I don't have any mask behind me. Oh, a tiny spring. There you go. I've been trying to get you, so I've been dragging my feet, bud, till you got here. So I'm just now into the gearbox, um, Jake, and I got her stripped down. Been kind of dragging my feet until you got here, so welcome. I figured you were sleeping. Um, I tried to call you, and it just went. Um, it didn't ever ring, so I just figured I'd let you sleep, and you can come back and watch it, but I ain't too deep into it. Airsoft Top Tech. Vosberg shared that. So, right now, Jake, I'm wiping all the grease off. Because um, you don't want to get no grease inside of the sensors on the gate. The optics. It'll uh, code out for that. And then we're going to be scientific about the grease when we go back together with it. grease off of here hmm so I'm gonna lay our shims out and we know where they're going so I don't have to reshim it I'm gonna check it but all right Yeah, there's a lot of grease on here. I'm going to take all these off and clean them because that is so much grease. So we got top right. We got middle and no bottom shim, which I'm fine with. Middle, right, bottom. All right, let's clean it off. Today is Eric Vosberg's birthday, guys. Y'all shout him out. Give him a little birthday spanking. I wish he lived close to me because I'd roll up on him with the Aries with the Kythera and leave him a couple birthday spanks. But he doesn't, so. What's up, SLS? I'm dropping a gate in for um, my friend here. He's up in New York. And he sent me his ARP9. As you can see, the Amber Edition. Basically brand new. I don't know. It may be. Do you have a Sharpie, babe? No, no, no. I just need to mark this box. 
So I'm fixing to give this box a laser stamp. A good old laser stamp. She said I cannot have it though. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. And you will like it. I got to un unplug my own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do it with you guys. I'm definitely going to do it with you guys on here. At least one part of it. Probably won't do all of the SLS. Yep. Um, Slaughterhouse played yesterday. Um, is that JD that's watching from SLS? What's up? Fish the mic. Anyways, uh, he played yesterday. Babe, I hate to bother you. I'm coming to get it, but I just need a tad bit of alcohol or something to wipe on this um, towel to get any kind of grease off the box. Acetone? This is going to turn out good. I, I can't wait to see this right here. The end result of this, which I'm not going to do all the laser engraving live because it'll take up a lot of time. Oh, okay, okay, dead shot. He said, it is me. I got you from two accounts, my man. I'm supposed to go see Michael today. Michael Para. Um, I don't know if you know um, SLS. Um, I started working at Battalion. And anyone who's just jumped in, um, I don't know any guys from Jacksonville. I actually work at Battalion now um, as a tech and selling um, in the sales department for guns or whatever Mr. Webster needs me to do, really. So, um, other than cook, y'all don't want me to cook. I probably don't want to do that. So, anyhow. So I'm going to plug this in. Here's what we're going to do. So this is just going to be a Titan install. Oh, okay. So, fish the mic. So your mic, Salmon. Gotcha. And SLS Deadshot is JD. Did I get that right? I need a straight edge. I got it. Y'all got so many sweet nicknames like Anibus. Nope, I got it wrong. Alright, so I was guessing because Mike's I was thinking Mike Salmon and I seen fish the mic, so Straighten me out, bud. I need to know. <laughs> I like knowing people's names. Y'all got four mics? Well y'all do got a lot of players though. So this right here, what I'm doing right now, is I'm putting Sharpie on here. It makes the laser etch into the metal. It won't... Okay, I got you right then. That's sweet. So, uh, SLS Deadshot. Who is that? So I have to blacken this out, or the laser engraver will reflect, and it won't penetrate the metal so what you do is you black it out with a sharpie and then and I figured this out the hard way after trying to engrave a, a polar star fusion and other things that had silver on them alright so what I'm going to do and hopefully I don't lose you all and I may do some of this later I'm just going to do a quick one on here to show you what we have here. I'm going to turn this camera this way so y'all can see what I'm doing. There's a laser engraver. I'm going to drop that in there. Now I have to take and unhook my mouse because I only have two USB ports on my computer. And now we we'll use this mouse. And we're going to minimize this ah, this isn't working okay gotcha I got you now alright so I was gonna I'm not gonna laser engrave it live because I have to unhook my 
um, camera to use that port. I will lasering video the laser engraving of it, but it won't be live. So let's go on and scoot through this. Sorry, y'all. That's what I'll do. I will video time lapse the laser engraving of this. And what I'll do, what's going to happen is it's going to be blacked out. Then the laser engraver will penetrate the metal. So that'll give you an idea of what's going to happen. And um, I'm going to put some stuff in there for Jake. He wants some uh, certain things in there. And then I'm going to put my serial in there so it'll have a good serial number. Yeah, man, I did get your other guns yesterday, Julius. Um, I got them right here behind me. Well, I got one of them right here behind me. This bad boy. And the other one is, I think in my, oh, the P90 is over there. So the P90 is, what is wrong with it? I think you said it just just didn't work. You gave it to a, a young kid, a feller, and it broke on him. And this one back here, what's the uh, rundown on it? Titan. Here's the Titan. I used to have a dog named Titan. It's pretty cool. Me and my wife are the only ones here today. Well, my oldest, my older son is in the bedroom sleeping. He's probably been playing Fortnite all night. Jake, look at there. You got your Titan patch. Alright, that's a bit. Okay, good. Okay, so I got the P90, so that's mine. That's cool. And what do you want done to this bad boy right here? I think Josh was telling me maybe you wanted this taken off of it, this paint that you had, which is no big deal. And um, what else you want? Send me a list on Messenger, so I'll have it wrote down. So anyways, Jake, really quick. So Julius, you know you got my Messenger, so message me there. Haha, <laughs> y'all better be going today. Okay, so Deadshot, I was talking about you a minute ago. You must have left for a minute. Um, so I know Mike is Fish the Mike. I know that's one of your mics. What is your name? Is it JD? Is that you? Are you the Deadshot one? I appreciate it, Julius. That's, that P90 is going to go to someone who probably needs a gun because what I'm going to do is fix it and I'm going to give it away to someone um, so yeah that's awesome that you even um, thought about doing that let me get y'all where y'all can see what I'm doing here cool thing is I went to the airsoft arena yesterday didn't even get no welts that's what I'm talking about Okay, so we got a Dean's connector and the M2 and the M2.5. So what I'm going to use is the M2, which has the black um, washer and the hard washer. And if I can get the screw to come out. What you do on this part right here is you make sure the washers don't stick to you. Make sure that this screw is going to get a metal washer first on the screw. Then it's going to get the fiberglass or it's basically made out of the circuit board material. So when you tighten it up, it doesn't cut into the gate circuit. You follow me? And you guys feel free to chat about um, whatever you want in the chat while I'm working on this. So we got it set in there. So this one awesome. I don't have to do any grinding on the uh, frame. Some of them, you know, I have to kind of just kind of either sand the edge of the Titan a little bit or actually grind out the uh, gearbox. So this one is fitting perfect. Deadshot. I like that name, man. Y'all got some cool names. Anibus, Deadshot. My buddy Brett, he's cool, man. I got to play with Brett last weekend. He shot me a few times. 
So once you get it tight, that screw feels kind of funky when you go down with it. You flip it and make sure it's not protruding right there. Then the next step. What is up, Garth man? He said the frozen north. So the next step is to take the selector plate and wipe off any kind of oil. And then we're going to use the medium sized sticker here. And on the back of the selector plate, it's going to slide and block these optics right here. That's what goes semi, off, and full. So what you do is, what you're going to do is, this right here goes all the way to the edge to cover it. And just make sure it's kind of straight like that and all the way to the edge. Closest to your right is what I would say. And that's going to give you the best reflection because these work off of a reflection. Now, we're going to take this and give it a little tweak to get it back in there. Give it a push up and in. And then we're going to slide it in and out and make sure it's good to go. And it looks good to me. And that's pretty much all it does. All right, T. <laughs> Bro, I seen you whenever you, um, on your video, whenever you ran up into this little window and you had, it looked like I think it was a Glock. And man, you was wearing them out with that Glock. They just kept running out in front of you, blip, blip, running out in front of you, blip, blip. Y'all go to Absmiral Berg Airsoft and check his, his uh, video out from yesterday. It's indoor gameplay. From up in New York. That's this is his gun here. I'm putting the gate in. He sent it all the way from New York. If you just jumped on, it's the Amber. It's a stock ARP9, and we're fixing to give it the gate Titan. So, yeah, go check out his channel. He's a cool dude. He's a good friend of mine. He actually helps me with all of my. Uh, let me. Where's my golf tee? With all of my uh, computer issues that I have all the time. He helped me get OBS. open broadcast whatever so right here um, I'm gonna give credit to my buddy Cameron he helped me out with this one I've always just routed the wires through here and they're really really close to the motor shaft and yesterday he showed me a trick with them and um, I'll share it with you you take and put a tiny bit of super glue on them to glue it to the box Oh man, that would be fun. To glue it to the gearbox right here. So the wires don't pop up and catch the shaft of the motor. Save you from getting a cut in your wiring or anything like that. So what I always do is I route them. Give them their bin that they need. Hot glue, yeah. I've never tried that, but that's a good idea. I've always just tucked them in really, really tight, and they'll usually rub a little bit, and it'll just take a little bit of the coating off, never into the wire. Because as you can see right here, that actually will work. You don't have to glue it, but if you push that little wire down right there, like I did, and you put some super glue on it, game over. No worries, it's not going anywhere. So, what I'm going to do is put a little bit on this book. And then I'm going to take it, I'm going to put it on the end of one of these old screwdrivers I got here. And then we're going to glue it down right there. And now Jake ain't going to never have to worry about this thing popping up into his uh, motor shaft or the rotor or anything. funny how regular old household tools work in airsoft isn't it Mike hot glue guns everything that we've watched women use now we got to use them so check it out it looks really good and snug I'm gonna put one of these clips over here 
to give it an extra little security and if this clip over here will fit we'll use it and I appreciate every oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I messed up I appreciate every last one of you guys joining the stream this morning I know it's early I didn't expect anyone to be watching okay I'm gonna leave that clip out because it is snug anyways I didn't really expect anyone to be on here because of as early as it is and you all joined and I appreciate it and um, it's gonna help the channel and boost those watch hours so we do that giveaway that's funny as a kid we used to do some crazy stuff didn't we so what I do right here this is paintball gun it's Dow 33 is what it's called if you'll take a little bit of this put it on the shims you don't have to worry about the shims moving anymore when you're working on it um, and it's good for the gears and all that that's what I use on all of them it's Dow 33 you can get it at any you can probably get it on e-bike e-vicky whatever y'all call it so just a little bit of Dow 33 and that's gonna hold your shims in place and it's gonna make them smooth as a baby's butt Let's go ahead and drop in our, ouch, spur gear. And I'm just going to double check the shimming and we'll double check the AOE also. So I'm not going to put the anti-reversal latch in yet because it's going to be catching. And I'm going to go ahead and wipe off this grease that they put on here, which is fine, but... Like I said, you don't want the grease getting on the Titan optical sensors because it will cause it to log a code. And this sector gear actually passes that sensor every time you pull the trigger. So we're going to wipe all that extra grease off. And then we're going to be a little scientific about it when we go back. I'm going to put a little bit right here. For now, we're going to leave it off of there, but we're going to be a little scientific about it. Because right here is a very critical stage of whether you wipe out this gate or whether you, uh, because if you hit, if you get the shimming off right here, you can actually hit these sensors on the, there's one there on the upper board and there's one on the lower part of the board. And it reads as the sector gear passes, so. Nice, like butter. What's up, Mark? <laughs> they are. He said they're devil. And I'm going to take a glance right here. Make sure we got plenty of clearance. And now I'm fixing to take and just stick this together lightly. And make sure that the shimming is dead on the money. So make sure the wires fit good. very important that they do for whatever reason G&G &G did not put a shim in that lower gear so I'm going to show y'all what it does it lets that bevel gear move too much for whatever reason they left a shim out of here so I'm going to add a shim being as it's my friend's gun 
and it's going to take this gun and make it so quiet. Let me see here. Actually, I got some shims right here. Hmm. Thought I did. Thought there were shims in that bucket. Well, let's dig a little deeper. Let's see if they sent me any by any chance. No, they didn't. There's one. Right there. That is the right size, too. Magnet tray picks up everything. I'm going to try to find an extra one, too, while I'm in here. There's one way in the bottom. All the way to the bottom is a thicker one that I need. That's what I'm going for right there. That's probably the exact size I need if this thing will give it to me. The magnet tray is not wanting to let it go. Alright, we got it. Dude, did I just drop it back in there? Sure did. It come right off my pick. Where did it go? There it is, right there. Come on. Alright. Got it this time. Alright, so now we're going to give it that extra little tightness that it needs. And this right here is going to take a lot of noise out of this box. This box is going to be amazing now. Just going to test it one more time before I go too crazy with it and slide all back together. And that's perfect. It's got a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit, maybe like two thousandths. Okay, so here we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna drop these shims on here. Now this is a little bit of critical stuff right here because you don't, like I said, you don't want this all over the gate. So what I do is put it in there and give it a little round, let it get all over the teeth just a little bit, and then come back and wipe the extra off. That's how I do it. Anyways, so put the anti-reversal latch in. What's up, ESG Speedy? How you doing? Doing a gate tighten in the RP9. And right now we're setting the gear set back in. Go ahead and give it a round to get the pickup teeth down. You want these pickup teeth to be down. You don't want them putting any... I'm doing very good, bud. You don't want the pickup teeth to be trying to pull the piston back. If they are, it's going to be hard to close the box. So, with that being said, we're going to get his piston and his cylinder. And I'm going to give it a check out. The gun's basic, basically new, so go ahead and give it a good servicing um, because it's already been broke in and uh, make sure everything's wearing properly and everything's in good alignment especially the AOE because it can damage that piston and it does look like it's wearing pretty straight Oh, I got you, Mike. <laughs> okay, so I got you now. I won't tell everybody that. I like it. I like the name. So now I'm going to put a tiny bit on here. You're the man. Yeah, he's a uh, dead shot. Is, I'm going to try to hook up with him maybe today. And um, he's donated some stuff to the channel or whatnot. And what we're going to do is um, probably give some of it away to you guys. And um, I've been trying to experiment in hydro dipping, and um, he's got some hydro dipping stuff, so be a good fit. And I'm actually gonna build a gun for him. It'll be fun, y'all. It'll be real fun. All right, let me find my tweezers. 
These little tweezers work perfect for this. I gotcha, I gotcha. Alright, so. Now I want to see. Make sure y'all can see this really good. I'm going to turn this right here. Let me turn my light on. Make sure it ain't blinding y'all. Yeah, it's blinding y'all. The pickup tooth right here has got to come in contact with this piston. So the piston's all the way forward. Let me show you where it's going to hit it. And right now it's trying to pull this stupid nozzle forward. Right. Let me pull this. Let me pull the nozzle off to show y'all. It'd be easier to show you with the nozzle out of the way. That way the nozzle's not trying to move back and forth. Alright, so it's locked in. And this is what you call AOE, it's angle of engagement. This is where the angle of this sector gear teeth meet the piston tooth. So right there, you want it to be around 12 o'clock, but as long as it's making a full tooth contact with that piston, so right now if the gearbox was closed, it'd be holding it down about there. So it's actually, I'm, I'm saying it's fine. It could be, it could use to be adjusted a little bit. And the way you adjust it is, I'll show you real fast. You pull the piston out. You get a Sorbo washer. No, um, I think they're, um, actually, no, I don't think they are ball bearing. But I think I have a ball bearing one here. Um, yeah, they're not. They're, they're, uh, rigid. But what you do is you get a, a Sorbo washer. It's got to have a hole in the middle. To let the air come through you drop it down in your cylinder there and what it does is it space so this is where it normally is and this is a good I'll show you about the compression right there see that so that's where it normally goes when you put a sorbo washer in there it'll push it back or a faucet washer it'll push it back just a little bit so instead of the piston coming all the way forward and slapping that piston head it's gonna hit that washer and it's gonna stop it here instead of going on in so that moves it back to where the sector gear gets a better grip on those teeth. Oh man. Well, it sounds like you you got it figured out though, Mark. Sometimes you got it. That's how I learn a lot of stuff too. Also, I want to turn this to where it's on the side. Let me wipe this down. We'll go ahead and install it. And see what happens. Are you going to be um, up there today, Deadshot? Yep, I forgot about that. What am I thinking? No cutoff lever anymore. So all that's garbage. All right, we're gonna make sure everything's in there. Now we're gonna take this upper board. We're gonna install it. Just make sure all your pins are lined up, and then you come down real slowly. And right here, you make sure. Now I'm saying, are you gonna be up at battalion today? beautiful or available I can hook up with you later about that stuff and did you get all your gun parts in yet or no I'm ready to build yours too let me squeeze this spring in okay cool deal just hit me up and uh, 
I'll come hook up with you if that's cool with you. Sometimes you got to push in on the back of the spring guide here, just like that, to get it to fall in. And then even the, um, what I use is this little baby screwdriver right here to make sure all these gears are where you need them to be. And then everything should fall right into place. Sometimes a spring guide can make it hard at this point. Just kind of got to move the gears a little bit to get them to fall in. And even this little nozzle with that um, tappet plate, sometimes you got to kind of give it a little help there. The main thing is that reversal latch. It'll make you mad sometimes trying to get it to line up. But it's no biggie. About to have it right now. Just got to kind of wiggle them a little bit. Make sure that spring guide goes all the way back. And that tap it plate. And then you don't want any gap anywhere, guys. If you do, just make sure that you uh, got everything straight because that's what it will be. Yes, sir. No problem. Make sure the piston is aligned. Looks like the spring guide might be turned a little bit here. So I need to check that real fast. That's why it's so nice having the um, the uh, quick change gearboxes. Oh my lord, they're so nice. They're so much easier to install. Something's not sitting right in the back here, so I'm going to check that real fast because... Make sure it's sitting just right, y'all. Looks like it's okay to me. Make sure that that's got to be turned backwards. Let me kick this piston back just a tiny bit. Yep, that's what it is. I see ya. Alright, we're ready now. These spring guides right here are not fun. Alright, we're good to go. Let's give it another attempt. Give it another attempt. There we go. That seems better. Make sure those wires are straight. So far, so good. Okay, so we got 188 more hours to go. 188 more hours. <laughs> You're so funny, bro. I'm sitting here worried about putting it in. I wanted to put you a, uh, a different trigger spring in and I laid it to the side. Dude, that's great. I'm glad you told me right now, Jake. I'm sitting here not even paying attention. That was so funny. Thank you for reminding me, dude. Look at my dumb behind. Hey, it's going to be comical. That's so funny, dude. He said, you put the trigger in last? No, I laid it over here because these springs are terrible, and I was going to put you a different spring in it. And uh, I laid it over there to work on it and forgot to work on it. So I want to show you what this, why. <laughs> I forgot to put the trigger in. He said, you put the trigger in last? <laughs> no, that trigger won't go in once you put that box together. But you see how thick this trigger is right here? really thick that's that spring this spring right here is what I'm gonna put in it I gotta do a little bit of tweaking on it no I'm glad you I'm glad you reminded me I'd have been so mad bro I'd have been like oh my gosh that's the thing about a live bud you can't edit it ain't no editing that You did right. You told me early. I owe you. I owe you one for that. 
anyways let me go ahead and fix this spring up real quick so what I usually do is take this old stock spring lay this one next to it and kind of model it after the shape let me grab some needle nose dude that 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 that's gonna be funny that that makes that's what makes it all worth it right there I'm glad he said that I'm glad that I read the comments while I'm working hey you made it John did you get a uh, notification buddy or did you just happen to drop in I need a pair of nippers 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 so what you do this is what I do is model it identical see that if y'all can see that from that high I'll hold it up you're the man that's why me and Jake are buddies y'all also I need to probably go ahead and check this I forgot to um, I want to check this uh, swing of this trigger real fast and make sure that it's going to be because I may I may even have another trigger yeah it's gonna be fun um, I'm gonna see if I got another trigger here that you may want real fast let me see what I have here I'll have to get what color is this there nope it doesn't match it's red I have other triggers let me make sure I have one that'll match your build here Red blue man I got black what's up Josh Stewart come to visit me yesterday I got black bud all I have is black trigger and um, red I was gonna drop you one of those um one of the other triggers that I have in it the speed trigger but I don't have any more here dang it I got the max trigger but it's red I got a red max trigger hold on a minute I have another max trigger somewhere where did I put it at I have a black max trigger I think Jake where did I put it at? Where did I put it? Just the other day I had it. I brought it home. Can't remember. I don't mind changing it out if we find one. But anyways. So we're going to go ahead and pop this spring in there. This is the light spring. This is going to make your day, bro. When you're shooting with this spring, you're going to thank me later. So I'm going to give it a little bend over the edge right there so that spring doesn't move on him this is what I do to all my guns um, even the HPA guns have these triggers spring I mean trigger spring trigger spring this one's a little bit bulky let me make sure I don't need to trim it back some more to do a little bit more modification to this one because it's uh, a little sticky don't want no sticky we want it to fly bend it about right there then I'll clip off the extra that's better right there It's very red. Let me see. Let me see if I can find the black one real fast. Let me see if I can find the black one. This is very, very, very red. I mean, like, very red. Look. This would be like... Hold on one second. Y'all hang tight. I'm going to try to find this black trigger real fast. 
because they would look really good. I think it's in my backpack right here. I remember putting everything in here. Man, where did I do with that trigger? Um, yeah, there you go. I, I, I had a trigger. It's all right. I'll find it. I know I got it here somewhere. I'll swap it out. I don't mind swapping it out once I find it after this stream. I'll go ahead and finish it now. It was awesome. I loved it. It was um, a great day, man. It's, it's really cool whenever you got a job that you could like and work at. Um, the owner's really nice. Mr. Webster, he's a cool guy. Um, I don't have any complaints about my first day yesterday. So, yep, I'm very, very happy. Let me get this spring to lock in here. Bend this tab over. That fits a lot better, too, right there, by the way. I'm glad you woke up, Jake, and you got to see. I was like, man, how can I get a hold of him? Oh, yeah, that's beautiful right there. Okay, so... Let me make sure... I'm going to push these wires down real quick just to make sure that they're not going to ever rub that trigger. I think we're ready to ride, y'all. Let's go back to attempt number two. Dropping the... <laughs> I'm so dumb. I cannot believe I didn't put a trigger in the gun. Actually, that's not the first time it's happened to me. I've actually left a trigger out before. Yeah, Josh Stewart came yesterday. Um, John Rando. That's my buddy John. He just started a YouTube channel. Josh Stewart come up all the way from South Florida, from Winter Haven, and uh, played at Battalion. He brought a whole group with him. He had like six or eight people. I forget how many. A bunch. They had a blast, man. Those those boys was sweating. Even Josh's girlfriend was sweating, man. They was riding out. It was awesome, man. It was a great day. Upper boards in. It's all tight. Got the loading nozzle ready. Spring spring guide. All of our shims. Anti-reversal latch. Hold that down. Round two. Round two. Round two. It's always a challenge with these AEGs. Always a challenge. And this right here is kind of annoying having that table move on me. Come on, JJ. Almost. There we go. Now we got to get these gears straight and we're good. There's that one. There's that one. Trigger's alright. Loading nozzle seems okay. Anti reversal. something here acting kind of stupid. Let's see what it is. I think it's the anti-reversal latch. What's up, Mikey Gates? Did you get to play yesterday, bud? Always use just a little bit of Dow 33. It's white grease. Um, it's really good. And I use a very, very tiny amount so it doesn't get on the optics. Um, or it'll code out for it. So yeah, it's Dow 33. It's actually paintball gun lube. Something just wasn't sitting just right. So I'm going to double check it real fast. Let's see what it was. It was a piston. Turned on me a little bit. Let's do it again.
There we go. Spring guides in. Hit that anti reversal latch right there. Game over. I know. I hate these spring guides and these things because they turn. That's what makes it so aggravating. Like um, Deadshot was saying earlier, those ball bearing ones is the way to go. <laughs> That's funny. Same exact time we said that, Josh. Ball bearing is the way to go with them. That's right. Make it where it'll swivel because, man, that, that rigid spring guy does not move at all. All right. Let's double check everything. We got movement. The trigger's stiff. I knew that trigger was going to be stiff for some reason. I'll make sure it doesn't need to be worked in. All right. I have to work on the spring a little bit. It's fine though. It's what I like to do. I have to tweak the spring just a tiny bit. It's catching. I put a uh, custom spring in it, Josh. A little uh, light spring, and it's kind of dragging a little bit. Doesn't want to return. Let me work on the trigger a little bit more. I want to make it fly. I want to make it fly. I want to make it fly, fly, fly. I think it just needs to be twisted a little bit. You think? Alright. It's your choice, buddy. Now you see where I put it? Put it back up. Yeah, I've got a couple of the red ones. That's why I was saying red. I have like three of these red ones. No, it was my screwdriver. I got the guide. Screwdriver shot across. <laughs> Here it is. That's her. If you're okay with it. Yeah, I did too. It said, whenever it popped off, it said, you should have heard it hit the box back there. And the springs that these have are um, not near as stiff as the stock spring, uh, Jake. Just let me know if you're okay with that. If you're okay with this one, we'll ride this one out. I'll go ahead and stick it in there and while I wait on my lag. Anybody playing airsoft today? I'm sure Josh is probably recovering. See, that's a nice, nice, nice flow there. Everything's good here. Let's go ahead and pretty sure Jake's going to want this trigger, so. Gum it. Come here. That time it flew. Just a little bit. This spring just don't want to cooperate with me. I put like 15 of these springs in yesterday and my hands are hurting. Um, nah, I think I about got it. Thank you, though. That's awesome. My wife was just fixing to jump on camera for you, Jake. Oh, her hands, her hands. I got a good wife, y'all. It's a good idea. How far are you from here, uh, Julius? I know you're near Josh, right?
Dude. Tell me that thing didn't fall down. I didn't see it. Y'all know the third time's a charm. Yep, it did. I didn't even see their anti-reversal that's fall. Well, the good thing about this is if it uh, gives me a problem, it's going to ride. So this bad boy right here is definitely going to ride. I didn't see it fly out. Spring guy must have hit it. All right, we're back. Last time. Tampa. That's like four hours from here, I think. Three or four hours from here. And we're in that time. Let me see how that trigger feels. That's a lot better. I feel a lot better with that trigger. Okay. One more time. One more time. Yeah, I've been to Tampa before. I played uh, paintball down there at the Buck Stadium. Nice. That trigger straight right there. I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it. I think I got it, babe. Spring guide shot out and hit me. The trigger stuck. But... You know my motto. If it kicks my butt, it's usually going to be worth it. That usually means she's going to fly. Yeah, I'm going to work on this trigger um, off of this stream. Feels really nice, though, and I got adjustments. He's got two adjustments on this one, so he'll be good on his. He'll be able to adjust the mess out of this trigger. I'm going to try to get it to where there's no pull, just like yesterday's trigger that I, uh, me and Cameron were messing with. Cameron did a max trigger yesterday that you'd barely touch it, and it was fire and then the reset was the same yeah you know those max Josh's they got that two adjustment you got the reset and you got the activate so yeah that's gonna be nice for him it's got a good spring he'll be able to <coughs> I gotta think where my batteries are I think they're in the guns that I loaned out yesterday so I could test out this bud boy. All right, let me give it some super tight torque. Make sure we ain't got no vibration from the recoil. An old 30 out six. Now we're gonna go through these gears one more time. Make sure we're Nice and tight, but not too tight. That was good. I didn't see it. Yeah, well, he'd be mad about that, wouldn't he? He said a little bit of red Loctite. This bevel gear was a little bit snug, but... Daggone it. Hey, how are you doing this morning? Alright. So, this is part of Airsoft. It's a little bit tight, and I'm making this perfect. So, this is going to my bud. I would do this for any of y'all's guns. So, this is where a lot of the week will jump off. 
I'm gonna have to get a skinnier shim, which I have, and shim this bevel gear because I don't want it to make any noise. I want it to be perfect. And once I tightened up the screws really tight and I torqued them, I was kind of wondering if it may happen. It's the bevel gear is a little bit tight. So that G and G didn't put a shim on that bevel gear for whatever reason. And I'm pretty sure they probably ran into that same issue. But I have some skinnier shims, and we're gonna um, stick a smaller shim in there. So no big deal I'd rather do it now than get it all together and do it and it's for my friend so what's up squirrel I would do this for y'all's gun too so that's what we're gonna do give Jacob the very best that I can give him Won't take but a minute. I'm just gonna drop a shim off of here and put a thinner one on it. What I forget where you're at, squirrel. I like that uh profile name, Squirrel Monkey. You hear me, babe? What? This guy on here's profile name is Squirrel Monkey. Pretty cool, right? Squirrel Monkey. So this guy right here is the one that's got too thick a shim on it. And what it's going to do is it'll make it make a little bit of noise. And I don't want to be noisy. G&G &G left a shim off of it here. Canada! And um, that's probably because they probably put it together and had the same issue that I just had. It probably was too tight. See that's a pretty thick shim. So I need to find a thinner shim. Let me find this little pick. Squirrel monkey. Without the shim, it's a little bit much. And with the shim, it's a little bit thick. And this shim right here, I think, is the same thickness. Yep, I need a smaller shim than that one. <laughs> I want it to be perfect, perfect, perfect. I want it to be perfect, perfect. Let's see here. I'm going to have to go into my personal shim. Shim stack over here. Somewhere I got a little thin one. There she is, right there. This is what it needs, and I'll show you what I'm talking about so everyone will know that all shims are not the same. <laughs> well, that's the one thing about it, man. You gotta love it, Mark. Okay, so I wanna show y'all real quick why I took that back apart. This shim right here, you can barely see it. Doggone it. This one right here next to it. Look at the thickness difference. I hope y'all can see that. The one in my right hand is really thick. And look at my dirty fingers from working on cars. So that is why I pulled it back apart. And uh, like I said, Jake is a good friend of mine. And I want to make sure he gets the very best that I can give him. So Jake's my friend. Yeah, I actually could have. That's a good idea. Josh Stewart is a very good tech, y'all, um, by the way. Me and him trade secrets a lot, and um, we talk about ideas that we have. That's exactly right, Jake. The outcome at the end is what makes it all worth it. But, believe it or not, and Josh is a tech. He's a really good tech on here too, Josh Stewart. He'll tell you. Just something that simple can cause this gun to sound terrible. If it's too tight, it'll sound like a fire truck when you're shooting it. It'll have that... That rear, rear, you know what I'm talking about. When you hear somebody's gun and you just know it ain't right. And like Josh said, I could have actually um, ground a little bit off of the gear face. Or it's got bushings. I could have ground one of these bushings down. I could have just sanded it a bit. Or I could have put it in and it probably would have wore itself in over a few thousand rounds or so. But I want this baby to be right. I want it to go to, to my buddy Jake and I want him to say where it come from 
who built it and be proud of it and I think if you take pride in anything you do the end outcome is well worth it it's the fruits of your labor guys the fruits of your labor now what we'll do so I don't slap it all the way back together is I'll take and um, put a couple screws in it and we'll check it fifty nine dollars that's you my son's buying keyboards y'all bullet pin where nerf bullet pin I have a nerf um, gun laying here somewhere that shoots CO2 I don't know about a bullet pin though triggers okay slides okay let's check the bevel gear oh that's so much better okay the movement is there a little bit oh really you got my attention on that a nerf lower I'm, I'm cool with that so much better so much better now we're gonna get this bad boy all right ARP 9 it's time to work it's time to do some work No, I don't have any Nerf bullets laying up here that I know of. I may. I do have a Nerf gun here, though. That is my uh, son's. It shoots off a of CO2 power. I'll show you. It's called Wrecked. You can get an M4, too. Put a 12-gram cartridge in the back. It actually hurts. Yep. Yeah, I want to get with you on that, Josh. That's cool, man. All right, guys, we're rolling now. I'm sorry it's taking so long. I don't even know how long I've been streaming, but, dude, you guys are awesome for sticking with me. I would have left. I ain't even going to lie. I would have been like, sorry, bro, let me know how the outcome is. And my wife, she supports the mess out of me. I'm hard to live with, let me tell you. She, um... She stands by my side. If I say, hey, I'm going to go play airsoft, she's like, okay. I'm learning how to juggle YouTube and um, work and everything. So, Yeah, there you go, Mark. Babe, Mark on here said, is that an ARP9 from Mir? Is that why you're working on it? <laughs> That's funny. All right, so we getting ready? Ready to play now? Some trigger. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get the greasy stuff out the way. It's time to play. Actually, um, it wasn't broken. Um, you probably already know that, though, Mark. Uh-oh. I need to call my grandparents then, don't I? I love my grandparents, y'all. They're great peoples. My grandparents are awesome. They're off the chain. Come on. Get in here. I might have to do a little grinding. I forgot about these max triggers fitting in the ARP-9. Let me make sure that that's all it is. Yep. All right, Jake. So, we done this yesterday to the one. Just going to let you know before I do it. I got to take a little bit out of here to make some space for it. So, I get to use my new tool. It doesn't matter, he says. Fix my gun and pimp my gun. So, this is going to be fun. Me and Cameron used this all day yesterday. This awesome little tool. Turn up the speed a little bit. Gonna go a little 
little bit more. What's up, Shane? He made it back. Y'all check out Shane's gameplay um, on his YouTube channel. I bet. <laughs> All right, we're done with it now anyways. Sorry, y'all. I bet it does sound crazy. That thing. Yeah, it's probably like a um, chalkboard. What do you call it? Whenever you put your nails on a chalkboard. But I think I'm done. I had to make it fit so the adjustment will go. Otherwise, that trigger would have stuck on them. All right, I gotta take a little bit more out the front. Sorry, I'll do it down here. That way, it's not so bad. Open up his uh, trigger guard real quick so I can get in this way. All done. Ear COVID. <laughs> he said it's ear COVID. You hear me? He said that sound is ear COVID. Yeah, well, we done with it now. After I lost 19 people off my chat. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. I don't even think I have 19 people today. We are doing pretty good, though. Thank you guys all for watching, man. <laughs> Trust me, whenever I go back to um, do this <laughs> giveaway for this custom gun, all your names are going to be in there. And that gun's probably going to be worth, I'm going to say, $800 or more. <laughs> Alright, Mark, I'm done, bud. Sorry. So sorry, society, society. Let's give it the drop, y'all. Here it goes. He said ear COVID. <laughs> Jake's got some funny stuff. What? Oh, no, I couldn't do it. Okay, he's just stock right now, um, and stock motor. I bet, man. I should have warned y'all first. He said, I just, no big deal. I just went for that volume button quick. <laughs> yeah, next time I'll warn you. I'm going to say, Dremel. Actually, I think that thing's worse than a Dremel, man. You should, I, I feel you. I bet it's worse on here, though, listening to it on the, uh, on, on, uh, YouTube. Come on, Mr. Stiff Spring, get in. Get this pin in all the way. Now, whenever you do these um, bends on the gate, the first time you do these bends, they only bend one way. You'll see where the crimp is, and you'll see where it folds over. You have to bend it that way. If you bend it the other way, the next time you bend it, it's broke. It's done. And gate will not warranty it. So, I'll show you once I get this grip on how to do the bend. So, when you're doing your gate install, you come back to this part of the video. Make sure y'all use my video, please. If you got to ever do a gate install, just come back to this one. Let me find my bit. Now, this is a little trick that I showed y'all last time. You just stick it to a magnet screwdriver to get it started. Just run it down in there, rake it over to the side, and move it, and it's in. Same thing with this one. Otherwise, you could fight it for hours. And um, the last one I did was that cobalt, and it kept sticking to everything in there. Oh, great. My top camera just took a dump. Let's see if it comes back in a sec, y'all. If not, I'll use my uh, other top camera come on top camera hang in there come back mister top cam alright I'm probably going to put a different device up there I 
it's trying to come back online. Let me get this screw started and I'll deal with it. No, it's the it's my uh, spare phone. It's just blinking. It's like blinking, blinking, blinking. It's like an ad popped up or something. Oh, I had it too, and I kicked it back. Here we go. Let's see if we got it now. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Technical difficulties. Come on, stupid thing. I may have some shims around here, um, Shane. All right, top camera's back. So, I'm going to move that over there for now, get it out of my way. <laughs> okay. So, the bending of the terminal ends. Grab them. They fold over in the middle. You grab them. You fold them to a 90 degree angle to the way that the crimp is. 90 degree angle. You got to go that way. If you go the opposite way, it'll snap off the next time. I thought that thing was way off over there. That camera's jumping all around over there. Okay, we're gonna get a good routing of the wires. We'll make sure that these wires set in there. Sweet. Can't even see the wires, that's really good. I'm trying to see what's going on here with this. I think it's just this, um... Oh, it's behind. I'm like, what's going on with my iPad? My iPad's over here flickering still. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Hook up the wires. We're getting there. Yeah. My favorite part. It's coming up, the shooting. And the uh, programming. Which, what stinks is I didn't think about it. I can't even do the, the link with you guys on here. Because y'all are on my laptop. Josh is one of my other tech friends on here, y'all, that's uh, commenting right now. What's up, Adam? Yes, I did. Um, I did, buddy. And I will... Uh, you talking about the SSG? Tuck in the wires down inside real quick, and then I'll be right back. Just try to make sure they're nice and seated. Right, eh? Yeah, that's that's what I that's what I told him to. Yep, I told him friends and family also. Where's my Allens? Oh, I got you. Yes, sir, I did, bud. Let me get this this uh, motor plate in, and then I will uh, chat with y'all real quick. Yes, I did. That thing was sick. That's the one that I put the... Um, what did I do to it? I put a tracer on it or something, didn't I? 
Can't remember. Or no, it was bucking. I put bucking in it. Bucking, that's what it was. Yeah, dude, that was sick. See, I didn't even realize that was you, man. Thank you for uh, watching. And I'm fighting with this motor plate right now. It's got super tight on me. Yes. Yep, I did get the tight and stuff. And, oh my lord, this is the tightest. Yes, y'all go check out. Um, almost everybody on here is a regular mark. Go check out uh, his group. It's uh, Dirty River Airsoft. And we're going to try to do a little bit of uh, trading and stuff on there. Dirty River. You just have to be invited. Um, if you want to join it, hit me up or hit Mark, um, mark up. And uh, we'll send you an invite. We're going to try to keep it like a private group where you can buy and sell, you know, because Facebook doesn't really like it. When you buy and sell, so... Yep, every time I've ever done one, they've always deleted it. This motor plate is so tight. I figured it was going to be, though, because it's new. i try to get this in, and then I'll chat with y'all for a minute. Let me back it off a little bit and see if that'll help. There we go. I'm in tight. Tight. He said I'm in. Of course you're in. If anybody wants to get in on a buy-sell trade, that's the best of the best, bro. Alright, we're going to get you war in if we, even if you don't want it, Mr. ARP9 Motor. Plate. It's one of the tighter ones. It's a good thing, though. Sometimes it's better when they're broken in. Dang, I, I wish I had a color kit here. That'd be pretty sweet to do to it. Yeah, it was hard to get back on. This one's being like that too. Which I just about got it all the way on. That's what I was thinking. I may have to grind a little bit of the anodizing off the edge of this one. Um, I'm going to still do some tuning to this. I'm just finishing it up now so we could take a shot test at it. Sounds good. There it is. Yep, we're good. That's what I'm talking about. All right, grab a battery out of one of these guns. Hopefully they got good charge. Last thing I'm gonna do is fight a dead battery right now. And hopefully this gate is preset. Where is it at? There's my adapter for Dean's. Yesterday we had one that came in. We It would not fire out the box because we had to program it. Let's see what we got here, y'all. Who's ready? Let's see here. little screechy so what I'm gonna do now that you shoot it a few times that motor will hop up where it needs to go you could tighten it down a little bit give it a shot I done turned it off no I didn't see it um, I seen is that where the guy ran out in front of you y'all had tracers and I seen you were coming around the corner and a guy ran out in front of you and y'all traded.
Man, you need to get with Titan, bro. And tell him to send me. He's talking about the Titan batteries. So, um, man, it shoots really nice. We can get this pin knocked back. Yeah, send him, send Mark a, a friend request, y'all. If you want to get to that, I don't know who I was listening when I was talking about his Facebook group, Dirty River Airsoft. Um, yeah, tell John, tell them all, um, Ben. Trigger's real sensitive, so I'm going to have to back it off a little bit. It's trying to go crazy. Let me find an Allen to fit this little bed boy. You hear that, babe? She likes guns, too. My wife is, uh, she loves it whenever I work on guns. Sometimes I just take them and show them to her. And be like, look at this gun I built, or look at this gun I did the trigger to, or look at this gun I did that to, and think she acts interested but it, hey it makes me feel good huh babe yeah. <laughs> I look at her nails she looks at my guns right okay try to get him a good reset here all right so now I'm gonna adjust it to where it has a stop to where it'll have a very, very, very short travel. Oh my lord, it's sensitive. Yeah, this trigger out the box is going to be... So, here's the travel. Now, yeah, this is Jake's Josh Alphonse. Um... I'm not going to do it right now because i got to find the Allen, but whenever I'm off the stream, Jake, I'm going to show you. There's two screws. This screw right here is how far the trigger comes forward and then where it stops. So this front screw is the trigger's, um, I would say the angle of the trigger and how far it goes to whenever you reset it. After you pull it, it goes back to a reset. So if you want to make the trigger have a longer pull, you're going to back this screw off. This one right here is how far the trigger stops on the way back. So if you tighten that up, the trigger is going to have a pull and it's going to stop. And then you got the reset. So um, I'm going to adjust it off of these are little tricks right here that take a little bit of time and uh, aggravation back and forth. Yes, I did. Um, Adam, do me a favor, man. Send me a picture of that gun that you um, that I put that bucking in yesterday, and um, I want to put it on the channel to share it. And I would like to see where I can get that that front. That's a short trigger pull if you could smack it. But yeah, send me a um, if you don't mind, send me a picture of it. I would like to share it with these guys. A lot of these guys that are on here are regulars. And um, they're all really, really cool, man, and you would like them. Some of them live up in New York, and then I think you met Josh and them yesterday. Just call in, man. Just don't even go. Tell your boss I said it's all right. Just be like, hey, he told me I didn't have to go. Tell him to give me a call. Well, don't tell him to give me a call. Just tell him to look me up. Tell him I said you didn't have to work today. If you don't want to work, man, just tell them. That's what I do. I'm kidding, man. I don't ever call in. I ain't even going to lie to you. I probably have called in like two times in my whole time I've been in my job. Right now, I'm putting the buffer tube back on. Y'all are probably thinking, duh. Yes, sir, I'm down. I'll help you any way I can. Yeah, there you go. Tell me you got COVID. 
No, don't tell them that. They ain't gonna let you come back for a long time. Don't do that. They're like, you can't come back till a doctor gives us a an okay, and this, that, and the other. And nice. Anybody know what this is right here? It's a mean gene, ARP9. Let me move all my toys over here. What was you, um... I'm gonna hook it up to the USB link. Yes, y'all should watch this first video. It's very good. Um, make sure you watch it to the end because at the end... Towards the end, he does a, uh, he's playing with the Glock, and all these boys keep running out from nowhere. He's in a window, and he keeps just laying them down. Yeah, I mean, I, I just... I'll make a trigger spring for you, um, Adam. What I use is, um, like an old mag. Just get an old any kind of magazine that you have, a M4 mag, and a little windy spring in there. It looks just like a trigger spring. I probably have one laying around here. Well, this is a stock trigger spring, as you know how they look. The windy one looks like um. I thought I had the old one here that I was using. I'll show you, but anyways, it comes out of a um. Everything's working good. A little adjustment there. Let me see if I got I got some stock ARP9 mags. Let's see how many I got here actually. If I got one that's easier to fill. Babies. Oh no, don't tell me I only got tracers. Nope, there we go. And yes, I would. I would love to uh, show that gun also on the channel. A lot of these boys would probably like to find where you got that carbon fiber front. Yeah, I hate the stock trigger springs. Um, I think you were here at the beginning of the video. You might now have been. I was working on this trigger. And, um, oh, it's wrapped up in here. I'll show you real fast what it was. So I ended up putting a max trigger in there. But this is a, basically, this is a magazine spring or either a spring for the cutoff lever on the front of a gun. And it's way softer than this bad boy. As you can see how thick that is. It's humongous. This right here is paper thin. And up at Battalion now, they're, you're allowed to have a blade trigger, but you got to have a spring. So, yeah, if you want to bring it by, I'll put a spring in it. I got you, bro. I'll hook you up with that. We could do that. be a nice video. Let me see if I could do this by myself, the chronograph here. These mags are terrible. I hate these magazines. They feed like whenever they want to. You're at 320, 320, 320. And I think a 319. Not bad. Not bad. Love it. All my BBs that I drop, I drop down here. Well, Mr. Absmiral Airsoft, that's my buddy Jake right there. This is his ARP9. I'm going to do some tuning on this off camera. Um, I'm going to have to take the USB link here. And I will be plugging it in. And uh, I'll be doing some fine tuning on it. And I'm going to do some laser stuff for him which I have to have the computer to do so 
what I'm going to do right now is talk to you guys for a minute in big screen. And we'll get rid of this top camera. So now that we got the big screen pulled up, I'll show you all. Maybe you see it a little bit better. Let me put his trigger swing back up. A little trigger guard. There it is with the max trigger. With the gate tight in advance. Totally done. Shimmed. Service. What's up, Hakobi? And uh, ready to go. So, I'm going to fine tune it and get it to where it's ripping and where he'll be able to easily take and change modes on it and do whatever he needs to do and um, there put his stock back on I'm gonna put it back in the box and ship it back to New York and hopefully we'll get some gameplay footage from this maybe we'll get some pictures of him shooting it or something and um, maybe he'll be able to show you whenever it gets back what I've done to the laser engraving or I'll throw some pictures up on the page okay yeah I'm gonna upgrade all the firmware on it I believe is no telling how long the shelf life this came actually this this gate right here I have to think about it I'm gonna have to look and see what it is but yeah good I want to see just a couple clips of you clapping cheeks. Here, let's put this on it and see what it looks like. Put the gator suppressor on it and see what it looks like. So what's everybody else doing today, y'all? There's a gator suppressor on it. Gator suppressor. Julius! Or, let's see what else we got up here. Ooh, look at this big bad boy. I just turned his ARP-9 into an ARP-10. It's an ARP-20, 20, 20 length in the front. What you think about that? Muzzle flash. He rocks a drum mag with it and everything, so. Oh, yeah? So. Uh-oh, there you go. So, I'm going to look up the uh, watch hours real fast. And tell y'all what they're at. Let's see here. I'm going to hang this up right here. So, y'all can look at it. There you go. And I'll tell you how many watch hours we got to go before we give this gun right here away. And... Okay, so we got 38.12 right now. So I need a calculator. Minus 38.12 equals 188 exactly. That's for, okay, so it updates every 24 hours, so y'all know. Five daughters? Man, I got two daughters, and I thought my life was hard. This guy out here, Mark, babe, has five daughters. We got two daughters, and me and my wife, we catch it, man. It's, it's rough some days. Very rough. Let's see here. What can we laser engrave? Cut a hole right through it. Five daughters. Man, I couldn't imagine having five daughters. We got I got four kids, but I couldn't imagine being all girls. What's up, Ryan Morgan? Sneaking in there on me, man. That's crazy, dude. Could you imagine, babe, us having all girls? That's insane, y'all. Well, I guess I'm going to let y'all go and have your day. And
Ah, sweet. Thanks, Adam, for the picture. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Thank you for the picture, man. I'm going to show you all this gun before we uh, get off of here. Adam, um, let me screenshot it so it doesn't show all his personal information. Adam uh, brought this in yesterday, and I got to put in the shop where I work now. And um, I actually got to put bucking in it for him. It's a uh, sweet, sweet, sweet ARP9 with a Polar Star. And you, I don't know how good you guys can tell, but that, that front is all carbon fiber. It's really, really lightweight. It's nice. The outer barrel there is carbon fiber. Sweet gun, man. If you don't mind, I'm going to post it in the community section. I don't know how familiar you are with my um, channel, but I have a section if you go up there at the top where the about is. So, yeah, he's got an F2, the same as my um, Honey Badger. That's what my Honey Badger has is an F2. This one, where's my Honey Badger? I think I took my Honey Badger to the field yesterday to loan it out, but I never loaned it out. I'll show you all the gun that um, of Josh Stewart's that's here. So, hey, no problem, Jake. You're welcome, and um, I'm glad that we got it together. And I like working on them, so taking it back and shimming it and forgetting to put in a trigger and all that is no big deal. Part of the game to me. This is Josh Stewart's sniper. And if you look at it right here, this tag is where it's been chronoed at 504. So what I'm going to do... Cause I'm gonna take this to work tomorrow, and for my series, does it hurt? I got Josh Laprell at work, who's my guinea pig. He lets me shoot him. I'm gonna cap him with this, and he's gonna not know what's coming. So this right here was sent up. <laughs> ah, you're finally back. This was sent up from Julius P90. He donated it to JJ Moore. YouTube channel, so we're gonna fix this bad boy and give it to someone. Um, and then Josh Clifford brought this up yesterday, all the way from South Florida. The hater, I'm not sure if we're gonna paint it or whatnot. And give, yes, 502. Did I say 502? 504. There's a tag right there where it's been chronoed at the field where they play. It's 504 feet per second. That is pretty much, oh my goodness, enough to put you in, maybe into your skin. I don't know. ARP9 is completed, my friend. Dude, that's awesome, Adam. That's, that's what I do too a lot. I switch my Honey Badger and the ARP9 uppers. Which I sold my extra ARP9 that had the Honey Badger upper. And I'm trying to see if there's a BB in here. I'm going to chrono this thing real quick with some 2 eights. Honestly, I don't even think I have a speed lighter. I bet it was, Julius. And uh, thank you again for the P90. Someone will definitely enjoy it. I'm going to fix it. And uh, What's up, Tyler? Y'all have any ideas of how we should give this away? I was uh, give, me, give me your ideas. I was thinking about maybe doing it on um, the Facebook group to try to help it. But... Let's see if how, how loud it is. I do have one BB in it, so... Oh, I got two BBs in it. Let me see. What's the deal with this BB? That's what I was thinking. Um, Ryan, the Facebook group, it's a nice hater. to make somebody a really nice gun. So... That's a good idea, too. So I'll tell you what we'll do with it. Um, so 
you guys that are supporting this live stream, y'all are making a huge difference on this channel. Um, believe it or not, there you go. Yeah, hit Brandon up for AK. Oh, believe it or not, the live stream that y'all watch is really, really big. And um, it makes a huge difference on this channel as far as watch hours go. So I appreciate all of y'all watching. Great idea. Great idea, Mark. So that's a good idea. I think we'll do a Facebook Live video. That way I could, because I really want to grow the Facebook group. This YouTube channel is doing great. It's growing as fast, way faster than I ever thought it was going to grow. Um, I've had this YouTube channel for a couple years. It was my son's, and he had one video on it. December 28th, or Christmas Day, my wife bought me a GoPro, her and my daughters. December 28th, I got an SD card for it, and I started doing um, videos. And that was this year, so... I really can't ask for more. You you all have supported me, and um, y'all have supported my family, and and um, I appreciate that. So, yeah, that's why the YouTube channel is doing well. has nothing to do with me or my personality or anything. It's, it's because of all y'all. So, we're going to try to grow the Facebook group, and um, what I'll do is I'm going to do a Facebook Live. Maybe we'll paint it or something, and um, I'm going to get the orange tip piece out of here. Watch this, y'all. I'm messing with this right now. And, uh, yeah, if y'all want to, I'll do a Facebook Live, and we'll just give it away on there. So whoever's watching that, at that moment, they'll put you in there like swimwear. Just muzzle flash myself. What we'll probably end up doing is make it to where if you win... You just pay shipping and you have it, and that and that'll be it'll come to you. Um, the last two giveaways I done, they were both happy and it worked out really good. So, yes, sir, they are dry fit. I love it. Um, I wear black when I'm in the tech shop. This one right here I got for maybe just doing YouTube videos and stuff. But hey, listen, there's gonna be next weekend's the anniversary. Make sure you come if you can and um get get in on the giveaways mr webster's got a bunch of stuff he's giving away tell him that i sent you there say hey jj told me to come check this out and win a gun so i showed you guys earlier i'll show you one more time before i get off of here let me show you real fast what is going to be given away this is one of the things that's going to be given away he's got multiple things the ARP9, the gold edition, yellow, gold, whatever you want to call it. See that Mac 11 hanging underneath it? That's at my desk right there. Um, I have a little desk area where I sit, and Cameron sits behind me, as y'all see in the video. So, um, he brought that in yesterday and asked me what I thought about it. Did we need to do anything else to it or whatnot? So, that's ready to give away. And Mr. Webster is he's going way overboard. I. Uh, that man is a great guy. He's given away a lot of stuff. He's put a lot of money in this anniversary. So if you live in Jacksonville, come check it out. Or uh, go on his Facebook page and give him a shout out and tell him that I sent you there. Yes, it is dope. I actually played with it a little bit yesterday. And I'll show y'all real quick a clip of the SSG if y'all want. I'm still editing this video, but I'll show you the raw footage here. I'll show you all the raw footage of me shoot. Um, actually, I did the video. Cameron, the other tech, actually did the shooting here. Let's see, where is that? There it is. This is the SSG with the silver kit. That's the tracer. So that is the SSG um, that I built yesterday. I put the silver kit on it. I put the tracer adapter. 
And I put the GNG tracer in it, and the switches on the front, you just turn it. I'll show you another clip of it before I actually built it. That's when it's stock. Yes, I did see the Demo one. Um, he got the Euro version. So, um, I don't have a Euro version yet. I, in October, I'll have that upgrade. Maybe maybe a little bit before. But, yeah. i seen the Demo one. It's pretty nice. I did everything to it that Demo had on his, except for the trigger frame. A lot of people have different feelings about it. If you're from the paintball world and you play paintball, you'll love the double trigger. So... But anyways, wow, Yo, I got a lot of viewers on here right now. I appreciate all y'all watching. And what else? That's pretty much it, y'all, for today. Yeah, the, the trigger's like this long. It's a blade trigger. And uh, the grip actually comes down, and the trigger guard goes way back. It has like a little catch to it. You could probably fit three fingers on that trigger if you wanted to. But it's perfect if you're from paintball. You can always double. That's the way to go. The SSG, Julius. The, uh, uh yeah. So the SSG, I'll have to check. I think they're around 270 without any of the upgrades. That's just a... I guess I'll have to look and see but um yeah I think they're like 270 no nah, I didn't get to play yesterday I um it was my first day at work at battalion so I um we were a little bit behind and the tech rooms getting all redone they're taking everything out of there and redoing the floor so we had a big mess we had to clean up and um, so I pretty much just worked all day. We had like 40 rental guns that were broken, and we, me and Cameron tried to go through them and get as many as we could done. And um, also we took care of customers too that came in. So yeah, I didn't get to play at all. Yes, sir. That's fine, Adam. Um, hit me up on Facebook Messenger, just like you did a minute ago. I think that was Facebook you messaged me on. Yeah, it could be it could be 250 something like that. Sweet, Mark. Nice. I still got the pink um Yeah, man, I love the SSG. Um I I think it's cool, honestly. Dude, this thing, I got this from Josh. This thing right here is super duper duper cool, man. Well, you won't have to wait very long, Mr. Ryan, because it won't be very long, bud. 188 hours is nothing. Think about it. Just a month ago, we were 2,000 hours away. A little over a month ago. Now we're 188 hours away. That's because of you guys. It has nothing to do with me. So, there you go. And look where the mag is. It's behind you here, so it's comfy. I'll show y'all something cool about this. So, you pull the trigger. One time, it's semi. If you pull it back further, it's full auto. So, yep. Which I think is really cool. Let me figure out. Get this mag out. That's the mag. Now this is really cool too. Babe, how much longer you got? Okay, because I was just wondering. Oh, I'll show y'all. Did y'all see what I did to the hater while I was sitting here? Look at here. Got the Fortis grip on it. Goo, 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 goo. The hater or the Fortis. She almost stand up. This is what is so cool about this to me. All right, you ready for this? I don't know if y'all know this or not. We see this black pin right here? Push it out. Watch this. 
Watch it. Be careful. It happens really fast. There's a little clip that lays across here. Dump it out. So we don't lose it. Y'all ready for this? Now you got two of them. Two of them. Now tell me that is not cool, man. Look at that. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I, me and Cameron's been messing with some 3D stuff. We've been collaborating on that quite often. So what y'all think about that? You pull one pin, everything comes out. There's the hop up adjustment, everything. All right, Evan Struggle Hummel Hummel Hanger. That's Bossberg, y'all. You shove her back in. Take this little metal thing. You lay it across the little bridge right here. There's a little bridge right here. Just take it and lay it across that little bridge. And you take this guy here. And you basically. Let me see how it goes. I can't remember. Like this. Shove it back in, and you're done. Back together. Ready to go. And it's finished. That's pretty easy to do, huh? Let me see what Bossberg says. Uh-oh. That's pretty cool. Is it the um, gray? ARP9 right there, y'all. Send me a message on it. Looks like Vossberg's maybe wanting to get rid of it. Vossberg, check out Mark's group. Um, he has a group. It's called Dirty River Airsoft. Um, I'll send you an invite for it, actually. Actually, I don't know if I can. Mark may have to do it. I'm not an administrator or nothing like that. Can you invite members, Mark? Can members invite other members? Let me see if I can. Y'all don't forget to join Airsoft Top Tech. Just send an invite. I gotcha, I gotcha. Here, I invite Vosberg real quick then. Let me take a find him. Jacob, I'll send you one. Stuart, Thomas, Gabaz. Era. Ah, I got you, Adam. All right, we're good. I'm looking for. There he is. All right, you've already been invited, Vossberg. Mark must have beat me to it. I just got it too. Let me see what it looks like. Oh man, that's sweet, bro. Got the drum mag too. See if I could share this with y'all without sharing his. Uh... Man, that thing's nice, bro. You got some nice guns, Adam. Super clean, super clean. See if I could share it without. What I just did was took a screenshot. Got the drum mag kicking. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. I'm fixing to kick it for today. So I'm going to wait for my lag to catch up. Make sure anyone, no one has any questions. If any of y'all have any questions, um, now's the time. YouTube Vossberg. I can't wait for the T6 to get here. Um... I think I under I, I think I put the wrong weight in the shipping label because in the middle of the night my wife got a um, message for it, it hit my my um, shipping thing for more money for ten more dollars so I think I, I uh, uh, underestimated the weight so hopefully that doesn't hold it up any but okay that's awesome Mark I'll um, invite as many people as I can and help you out if I can and Jake ARP9, I'm going to fine tune it with the gate um, USB link and hang out with my wife 
Are you crazy? That's all? Man. You're crazy, Bossberg. Does it come with a drum mag? Nice. That thing looks sweet, bro. I got yours too, Mike. Salmons. Dude, that's awesome. Well, guys, I appreciate y'all. Let me make sure that I don't not missing anybody's questions. I want to make sure everybody gets their questions answered. No problem. Sorry it took me a little while to get that box together, but I wanted to make it perfect and I wanted y'all to see normal problems. That's why I do the lives. It's it's not always easy. That sometimes they go right together and sometimes you gotta fight with them and reshim them and throw all the parts in a box and start over. I mean, it's just that way. It's airsoft, so... Um, this was a very long live video. It was very good. Y'all stuck it out. I appreciate it. Um, dang. So, y'all check out Mark's group. Check out Absmeral Berg Airsoft right there in the comments. Um, this week, I'm going to go live on Friday night, I think, for this custom build. I'm going to get with Full Auto Airsoft with John and see if I can get him to ship us something this week so we can get on the inside and start working. So I'm going to go ahead and schedule that stream today. That way, if you want to go in the chat and start chatting, you guys can chat with each other. Um, Y'all can do whatever you want. Talk to each other. make uh, Tell each other about guns or whatever. Um, so join Mark's group. Check out Asmoberg Airsoft. Watch his gameplay from yesterday up in New York. It's a really good video. Watch to the end. Um, I'll be uploading yesterday's video of the SSG later. And I have some footage from Josh Stewart and Clifford and um, Shane um, from playing yesterday from Battalion that I'm going to upload. So if y'all need anything, go see Battalion Airsoft. Um, call, ask for Mr. Webster, tell him I sent you. If you need anything from me, hit me up. So I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good day. Thanks for hanging out with me. Peace, y'all. Got to go.